Hello YouTube and welcome back to more Pokemon Shiny Gold X. I'm your host as always, Zephyr Sonic, and so in the last episode, we made our way into Violet City after defeating some trainers. And now we are here at the Bellsprout Tower. Experience the way of Pokemon. So yeah, as I said, here we are in Sprout Tower. A Braille Sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Yeah, cool pillar. It's not even moving. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Oh, awesome. We get an HM. Whoa, did we, we went like right through the stairs as we went uh, through there. Now we gotta face some bald guys. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Sage Nico. Nothing my belt, my uh, Cyndaquil can't handle. Yes! So awesome, level 12 for Cyndaquil. And we get Ember. The key to this place, pretty much. To defeating everybody. But I'm gonna give uh, Pidgey a chance now. Get him with gusts. So I'm just gonna continue to use growth, which I'm not worried at all about. And level 11 for Pidgey. Awesome. And we have defeated Sage Nico. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. The flexible pillar protects the tower, even from earthquakes. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this Pokeball here. Ah, Zephyr found one Paralysis Heal. And we will keep uh, making way we can run a forgot we could run. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Sage Chow. Chow baby. And Chow on that. My Ratatouk could use some training, too. I gotta hand it, uh... Hand it to the creator of this hack. Zell, because the Bell Sprouts definitely are much tougher in this hack. Gonna switch definitely. This will help my Ratata with the experience. So, yes, making quick work of these guys. Level 9 for Ratata. And Sage Chow has been defeated. F -f thank you. My pleasure. All living beings coexist through cooperation. You must always be thankful for this. My pleasure for beating you. 
So now we find a next defend. And, uh. Metal, another sage. Sway like leaves in the wind. Sage Edmond. So yeah, one ember should do it. Level 13 for Send Quill. Okay, Bell Sprouts again. Uh, I'm gonna go with Pidgey. Need to train some more. Because you never know what the first gym is gonna be like. Level 12 for Pidgey. Next Bell Sprouts. Um, gonna stay in. And that'll do it for this Bell Sprouts. Bell Sprout. Oh, I'm weak. Yes, you are. And thank you for your money. I tried to copy Bell Sprouts' gentle movements for battle, but I didn't train well enough. Gentle movements, Mon? What are you talking about? Alright, so now we just got these uh, last layer of sages to defeat. But we're gonna get a potion first. And we run into a wild Pokemon, and it's, ooh, a Ghastly. Um, let's catch one. Uh, I don't know, is Ember gonna be too much? I think Ember's gonna be too much, so... We're gonna, uh, we're gonna switch to Pidgey. Alright, yeah, fortunately Lick will not affect Pidgey. Because it's a normal type, or part normal. Unfortunately, we have to go for a gust. I ah, should sh don't KO it. Oh my goodness! We got fortunate there. All right, we should no doubt be able to catch this. Go, Pokeball! What? Wow! I'm surprised. All right, let's try this again. One, two, three. All right, there we go. You kind of scared me there, Ghastly. I mean, you're only level five and got you down to like what two or three HP, and uh, you got out in like the first try. Being that exists as thin gas, it can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. Whoa. That is something. It can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. That is interesting. <laughs> uh, no, nick no nickname. But yeah, that that's that's funny though. Weird, but funny. Uh, train. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. So next up is Sage Jin. Again with Bell Sprouts, as this is why it's called the Bell Sprout Tower, even in the original uh, Gold Silver and Crystal and Heart Gold Silver Silver. Yeah, easy for Cyndaquil, easy prey. Beaten by a mere child. And I just beat an old Mon, who's bald. As Pokemon grow stronger, so does the trainer. No, wait, as the trainer grows stronger, so do the Pokemon. Make up your mind, man. Okay, let's see what you want. The Elder's HM lights, even pitch black darkness. Sage Neil again with a Bell Sprout, of course. It's level 11 this time. Yeah, 
Level 14. And so yeah, quickly, it is my head that is bright. Yes, your shiny bald head is bright. Brighter than the sun. And look at this, my Cyndaquil is evolving. This is so cool. I gonna get a Quillava! Yes! Congratulations, your Cyndaquil evolved into a Quillava. Let there be light on your journey, and let there be hair on your bald forehead. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Sage Troy! And now we get to test out my new Quillava! That's Killer Sprite! Look at that, Quillava's mad! Quillava's got this look. It's almost creepy. You're looking at it from the side and you're like, oh my goodness, that looks kind of freaky. Alright, so we're gonna take on the Hoot Hoot. And just because I got a Quillava does not mean I will get to the first gym that easily. Because you never know what's going to await us. I mean, of course, Faulkner's going to be awaiting us, but uh, you never know what other surprises might be lurking in his gym. Yes, your trust is real. And your bald head is real. Or is it fake? Could it be fake? It is not far to the Elder. And it is far from me running away from your bald head. And what's going on here? You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But to let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. Stands to reason, I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Silver used escape rope! And just disappears, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this Pokeball. It is an escape rope. And another... Okay, Rattata, I don't want it. Already got one anyway. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a brighter future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the tie. Ties between your Pokemon and you. The Sage Lie. The final Sage Trainer here in the Bellsprout Tower. That should be easy pickings for my Quilava. My raging Quilava. And level 15 should be good enough, but like I said, you never know what will happen in Faulkner's gym. So, next up is gonna be Hoot Hoot, and we need to level up some of our other Pokemon. Oh, uh, well, We're gonna have to go with Pidgey for right now, because Rattata is a bit too weak right now, so... But I, I think we, we should be able to manage getting through uh, Faulkner's gym with Pidgey and uh, Quilava. But again, anything can happen. Go for the gust. Alright, I'm not too worried about my attack falling because you are still going down. So, we level up for Pidgey, and we get quick attack. Yes. Okay, another Bell Sprouts. We are definitely gonna go ahead and switch. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into Rattata. Take a little risk here. Even though it's weak, we'll just have to see what happens. Ooh, yeah, level 14. Uh, definitely want to send out Quilava. Or, actually, no, let's go into with Pidgey. So, yeah, you see a level 14 Bell Sprout, so you never know what could happen in Faulkner's gym. I believe in the original Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, that Bell Sprout was at level 10, I believe, I forget. Ooh, oh, wow. 
Oh, am I gonna get him on this guy? Yes, thank you, Pidgey. So we defeated Sage Lie. Ah, excellent. And we got 336 Poke Dollars for winning. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. So we get the HM05, perfect for going through dark caves. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Okay, uh, let me go talk to you. Hope you learn and grow from your journey. Yes, I will do that. So, we are going to go ahead and use the escape rope. We don't- you don't have to, you could just walk out, but, uh, I'm just gonna use it anyway. So, we just spin like crazy and, uh, just like that we are out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take a quick rest of my Pokemon. And, like that, we are fully healed. Alright, so... Well, that is going to do it for this episode. And so in the next episode, we're going to be going through Faulkner's gem as we are going to be going for the uh, first badge in Johto. And you never know what's going to happen. I don't even want to pop in here uh, not knowing what's going to happen. Could that Carlos guy be coming out to battle me? Uh, I don't know, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned to find out. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. And so, until the next episode, guys, I will catch you back here for more Pokemon Shiny Gold X, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.